Hey guys, welcome to this session by Intellipad. When it comes to programming languages, there is always a lot of debate going around it. So now in this particular session, we're going to look at the top 10 dying languages and also we'll be looking at the alternatives to those languages so that you can learn those languages right now. Also, all of these languages are not dead yet, they are on their way to their end and also most of these languages are still alive because they are still run in the legacy systems which companies are still having. Also guys, before moving on to this session, please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our upcoming videos and also leave a like if you enjoy our content. So now let's start off with this session. Coming at number 10 is VB.NET. According to the TIOBE index, it is at 6th position in the all programming languages list right now. Also, VB.NET or Visual Basic.NET is a multi-paradigm object-oriented programming language introduced in the year 2002 by Microsoft and implemented on the .NET framework. So, it was released as the successor to the original basic language. So, there is a main drawback as well that it can't handle pointers directly. When you can handle pointers directly, that basically increases your processing time. So that makes the programming even slower. Majority of .NET developers are currently c -sharp developers. And that basically means the popularity of VB.NET is reducing a lot. Companies like Microsoft, Double Slash and Tanium are some of the companies who still have VB.NET in their tech stack. Also, if you want to get into .NET, check out IntelliPatch. .NET certification training. Coming at number 9 is Perl. According to the TIOBE index, it is at the 14th position. So now Perl is a family of two high-level general purpose dynamic programming languages. Perl 5 refers to the current version of Perl and Perl 6 is basically renamed to Raku and Raku was introduced in the year 2019 and at that time Python and Ruby already got a lot of traction from developers that basically made Raku even less popular. Perl takes a lot of CPU and memory to run compared to the current modern languages. Also, reason for its eventual decrease in uh, popularity would be its unreadable code. Also, it is not portable as well as it is not object oriented. Some of the major companies who still have Perl in their tech stack are Amazon, Booking.com and Roblox. The alternative to Perl is basically any modern language, but I would say it is Python, PHP or Java. And if you want to get into any of these languages, we provide courses in them and you can check them out. Coming at 8 is Objective-C. So Objective-C is in the 19th position according to the TIOBE index. Now Objective-C is the primary programming language you go to when you need to code software in the Mac OS X systems or for iOS. So now Objective-C has been the primary or the main language for Apple for a long time and then basically it provides object-oriented capabilities and also has a dynamic runtime and it was really popular. And its eventual death is going to be because of the new arrival of programming language called Swift and even that was announced by Apple and most of the Apple developers who are getting into the industry right now, iOS developers, they start using the development platform using the programming language Swift and not Objective-C. Objective-C is a syntactically complex language and it can be riddled with bugs if you don't strictly type it. And according to the TIOBE popularity ratings, Objective-C is going to be completely replaced by Swift in the upcoming years by Apple. Companies like Uber, Instagram and Pinterest still use Objective-C in their tech stacks. And also, if you want to get into mobile application development, check out IntelliPad's Android development training. Coming at number 7 is Pascal. Pascal is at the 18th position according to the TAOBE popularity ratings. Also, Pascal is an imperative and a procedural programming language and it was built to be small, effective and to use good programming practices. It was built in the late 1960s but it is still viable in many companies' tech stacks because of legacy systems. Pascal has been replaced by Delphi Object Pascal as it provides object-oriented capabilities. So now it is a readable language, but even then it has issues with arrays and also control flow of the code. So right now the alternatives would be C, C++ and Java. You can check them out. 
Coming at number 6 is ADE. According to the TIOBE popularity ratings, ADE was in the third position in 1985 and currently it is sitting at the 31st position. ADE is a structured, statically typed, object-oriented programming language and it is also a general-purpose programming language. ADE was derived from Pascal and some other programming languages. The last stable version of ADE was released in the year 2012 and it was last updated four years back. So the support is very minimal for the programmers of this particular language. And also it's a really complex language and it will take a lot of time to learn. As well as you cannot do the same tasks with the same piece of code sometimes and this does not go well with programmers. Coming at number 5 is COBOL. According to the TIOBE popularity ratings, it comes at the 33rd position. COBOL or commonly called as Common Business Oriented Language. In this case, it is basically a compiled English-like programming language which is highly readable and also it is mainly used for business purposes. It is very popular because of its ability to handle large amounts of data and also it is very readable as I already told you because it has an English-like syntax which also helps beginners to start learning it. And also English-like language is also a disadvantage because the syntaxes are very long and are really wordy. COBOL cannot handle scientific applications and COBOL's compilation time is very high compared to the other programming languages. And also COBOL is really popular compared to the other languages we are talking right now because COBOL is used in applications deployed in mainframe computers. And that is why it won't die any soon. And it will obviously die when there is an alternative which is highly effective than COBOL for mainframe computers. Coming at number 4 is LISP. LISP was number 2 in popularity ratings according to the TIOB index in 1985 and currently it is sitting at the 34th position. Now LISP is the second oldest high level programming language still in widespread use but it has already started its way to its eventual death because not many programmers are learning LISP. Anyways, LISP is not directly used nowadays because its dialects Common Lisp and Clojure are preferred. So Lisp has a very distinctive syntax and it makes it very harder to even write simple code which can be done in just a few lines using Python or even other languages. Coming at number 3 is Haskell. According to the TAOB index, Haskell does not come in the top 50 programming languages, it is in the bottom 50. So Haskell is a general purpose, purely functional programming language with type inference and lazy evaluation. Mainly, code safety is really good with Haskell and it is also mainly suited for data analysis. Haskell is a really complex language and that's why you don't see a lot of programmers learning it or using it. Also, Haskell is mainly used for research purposes and also there are not a lot of IDEs which support Haskell. And when there are not many IDEs which are supporting Haskell, in that case there is not a lot of library support as well. Even though the existing libraries are still available, but they are not updated for a long time. So now if you want to get into data analytics, go check out IntelliPad's data science with Python course. Coming at number 2 is Erlang. So Erlang is not in the top 50 programming languages according to the TAOBE index. Now Erlang is a general purpose, concurrent, functional programming language with a garbage collected runtime system. So now Erlang is a really hard language to set up in your computer because there is no proper package manager as well as there is no proper library support which makes it even difficult for programmers to start off with Erlang. One more reason why Erlang developers are reducing is because again as I already told you it is really difficult to set up and the few developers who are already working on it are also leaving it because again there is little to no community engagement for Erlang. Coming at number one is CoffeeScript. CoffeeScript is a programming language which basically compiles to JavaScript. CoffeeScript does not come in the top 50 in the programming language popularity charts according to the TIOBE index. Also, CoffeeScript tries to add a syntactic sugar which was inspired by Ruby, Python and Haskell so that to include some readability and brevity to the existing JavaScript code. Also, CoffeeScript is really hard to set up 
and the errors which coffee script throws are too vague to understand to debug it and that's why it's really hard to debug coffee script coffee script does not have a lot of backwards compatibility that is if you have your old coffee script program it might not run at all in the new version of it also comparing coffee script to javascript is basically like comparing a planet to the universe because of javascript's wide range community support and its libraries so there are so many libraries and frameworks in javascript or for javascript but not much for coffee script so that's it for today guys this is the top 10 dying languages and if you think any language should be included in this list or excluded from this list leave that language down in the comment section and leave a reason as well so that that could be a healthy debate also if you are looking for an end-to-end -end training in any of the major programming languages or any technologies like data science or machine learning you can check out those details in intellipad's website and those details are available in the description box below so thanks for attending this session guys, meet you in another one.